Okay, hi everyone. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Jong Choi. I'm working uh, as a research scientist in Oak Ridge, and today I will talk about our experience on running large scale machine uh, learning training on Promoter. Uh, basically, we are working on uh, material design projects. Uh, in this project, uh, the basically the basic idea is that we try to design a molecule, a lot of molecule, and we find some possibility. And once we find the molecule, we want to check if this molecule is possible, valid, and we run and, and we want to get uh, the, the various metrics. Uh, for, for that reason, uh, the two scientists uh, try to run TFT, the various the simulation code, to measure the energy, to measure the uh, homoromo gap. So each molecule in through this simulation takes about 100,000 seconds. That's not, uh, that's kind of doable thing. The problem is challenge is we have to run through a lot of molecules to check this kind of the task. Uh, literally thousands of molecules. So that's too, too demanding. So idea of using the gym running is that we want to develop the surrogate surrogate model, which you can replace, can do some uh, similar prediction, similar measurement uh, of the FTB, uh, the, the simulation can do. So, so that's why we want to develop a surrogate model by using the running framework, which the, uh, the especially graph neural network training. Uh, basically, the molecule itself we can represent as a graph, and GNN shows very uh, promising result. So we develop a graph neural network, deep learning framework for, for uh, this kind of molecule, molecular design. And we named hydrogen, that's the, that's the uh, graph neural network uh, training tool, but we, our focus is using uh, perm order summit, those kind of the high performance machines, because we will handle a lot of data. So we developed this hydrogen, that's our kind of the first step. Now, then uh, we want to have this the surrogate model to be efficient and also to be accurate and should, should be generalized enough to be used <coughs> in various situations. To, in order to this, achieve this goal, we found we have to train the general model by using a lot of molecules, literally 10 million molecules. Uh, and that's, that's demanding. Now we found, uh, found that now our problem is not computational, uh, computational challenge. Now it's kind of uh, IO challenges, data, uh, data challenges. And at the beginning, we just, it, uh, and also just one thing, and in this kind of the uh, data challenging in, in deep learning, we found IO characteristic, the input output, characteristic of neural network is very different uh, from the uh, conventional large scale uh, parallel computation. So in, in deep learning, we, that's very uh, read oriented during the, uh, uh, by performing the training. And also there are a lot of access and I access frequent, uh, frequent data access. So uh, the from the, uh, and now we, it, I tried to explain what kind of step we followed. At the beginning, we just store uh, each molecule as a as a single file. Then we are, we are train we are trying to train ten million molecules, which is ten million files, and that's big stress. Even even uh, in this kind of the promoter system, one of the largest performance system, ten million uh, files in the file system, it, 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 it's 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 nightmare, and. Uh, the, the, also, it calls a lot of the metadata and um, uh, the big headache for the metadata of the file system. So it, it, was, it was a big mistake for us. And, and also, we have, we have to ask a lot of requests to the system admin to increase our uh, code capacity, not only capacity, also inode, which is number of files limitation. And, uh, Luckily, the help desk was generous enough. They, they accepted our increase and we, we can save our data, but during the training, uh, it was, was, was a problem. 
Now someone asked, someone mentioned NVMe. Why, why, why don't you try using the NVMe or burst buffer? But although Permada doesn't have the uh, NVMe system, but the Summit has a NVMe. But one, one, one thing we found is that also setting up that NVMe, uh, before starting the training, we need to copy all the data to the NVMe system. That's also not, not, not a simple task. The, uh, also, the thing is, we have large amount of data. We need, when, when we try to uh, end, let's say, 100 compute node, we have to copy 100 copies of the large data to the NVMe. That also was not a good solution. So now, the conventional wisdom in the, in the deep learning training, people are using the sharding approach, which is uh, merge multi files in a single file and make a tar and use that uh, as, a, as, a train, as, a, as a training set. This approach also has own uh, disadvantage. To, to, during the training, to make our, to maximize our uh, quality, we have to uh, we have to maintain kind of random access. We have to be train our data uh, as uh, the by 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 randomly selecting the the training set so that we want to improve the general we want to maintain the generality of the training. This sharding approach has has, has a limit some uh, approaches. And also the sh making a sharding as, as a one set, that's also a lot of time you, if you want to try to reshard again, that's also the causing the problem. For that reason, uh, we have been developing uh, also another kind of the library or tool we call DD Store, which is the specifically designed for the data loading process uh, for the uh, GNN or deep learning uh, framework. The basically idea is that uh, we read data and we, we, we distribute our data uh, every compute node and we store the data into the memory. And during the training, if you want to access some specific data, although it's, a, it's, a, it's uh, stored in a remote process, we want to grab that data uh, from, the map, from the remote memory. This technology is known as one side communication or memory to memory access. So DD store uh, is, 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 is a, it kind of the supporting these kind of the approaches. And so as you can see, we, we tried a few data set and the, one of the biggest data set actually, uh, 10 million molecule, 1.6 terabyte. We cannot save this full data set in a single machine. Uh, so the, the, one of our colleagues already uh, generated this data set and published it in the Nature Journal. And this data set uh, what, what was the biggest data set we, we tried. And so, so we tested this high drive and entity store on multiple supercomputer machines, including Summit and Permodel. And good news is that Using this, this approach, we can maintain the linear scaling up to thousand GPU, uh, up to thousand GPUs on both permodel and summit machine, and also uh, compared to other data loading technologies by using a file, and uh, we maintain uh, we maintain the best performance as well as the less variability, especially in the deep learning training synchronization and uh, uh, everyone tried to do the same computation, but stagger, stagger, one single stagger can handle, uh, can uh, hurt the performance. So, but the DD store, which is the memory based approach, not using the file system, maintains uh, low And also we are working with the colleagues uh, in this lab, uh, Jong Hyun and the Khalid. They are, uh, they are exported in performance analysis. And we run through some profiling, and this uh, PDF is showing that uh, we have less variability in our kind of the multiple uh, training processes. Okay, so uh, we, with, uh, our result will be, uh, is accepted in the SC workshop uh, and we were presenting in the, in the fall again 
but this is, we believe this is a good start and we will continue to work on uh, for uh, for large scale training right and thank you for the support so far and if you have any, any question i will take <laughs>